Alrighty, I left Chattanooga. I made it to Arkansas. I spent last night in Fayetteville, and then this morning drove two and a half hours up to Stack Rock to try Trackman. This climb's been on and off the list. It's been like definitely a subject of debate with uh, friends of mine who've been there and visited, and um, I think currently it is on the list, but I'm very curious to see if I will keep it on there. Um, it's definitely not going to be super high on the list, I don't think, but um, yeah, drives just some back roads, some dirt roads, some muddy mudding at the end here, and uh, it's a bit warm today, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, my buddy Matt gave me pretty good odds to flash, so of course I'm going to try, always try and flash, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll do it quick and then go try some other boulders in Candy Mountain, which is kind of nearby. I'm really excited to climb some boulders and stand on top of things. I, I got sucked into projecting um, Southern Draw for the last like few weeks of my trip in Chattanooga. I didn't end up doing it. There was definitely like a universe in which I could have done it this trip, had you know conditions and tactics and everything aligned a little bit better. Um, but that was like a good projecting process, and I'm proud of myself for trying something like legitimately very hard. Um, and definitely, definitely goes. So, looking forward to getting back there. But in the meantime, it'll be nice to get some more volume here in Arkansas for a few days. So, yeah. Let's keep a 55th Street, you know? Just got to the boulder. Approaches about 20 minutes. It went pretty well. Only fucked up a little at the end. Um, I haven't really gotten a chance to look at the boulder yet. So, thankfully, it's in the shade right now. It's pretty warm. Uh, I won't have very long, so I'm gonna have to move kind of quick. But um, I wanna take you guys through the climb as I look at it for the first time, because I haven't seen it yet. First impression is that uh, there's not a lot of space back here to walk. The landing's good. It's a little bit slanted, not anything to complain about. But because the landing area is so small, the boulder is very imposing overhead. It's like this huge prow and it's very striking and um, Icing to climb but then you see all this other chalk and that was my initial hesitation when I originally did not put this on the on the list but people I talked to who had been here assured me that there's a seven here it's completely independent um, trackman's still worthy and all that but upon further research I looked in the guidebook and there's the seven here there's the seven into Trackman, which is V8, and then there's also this alternate entrance that Daniel did that's V11 that starts down on this pedestal. Um, so the start isn't super obvious for me, and the V line is not super obvious necessarily. Um, you know, for me, the line would be here, taking this prow, which you don't really do. You kind of skirt the side of it, and so maybe that's something left to be done, or maybe it's just not really a climb or not worth doing, but this... This jug stands out to me because it's really nice at chest height. Um, but of course, if you were to start there, you could very easily just climb up the Arete, which I'm sure is a boulder as well, and it would probably be V3 or so. So, there's that. Um, the holds, at first glance, look incredible. I mean, look at this pinch. The rock's good. It's really good, but it's not up to par with like the LRC rock. You can see the grain. Well, maybe this will focus. You can see the sandy grain. Um, it's not as compact and as strong. I'm not a geologist, but that's just my impression from looking at it. And you know, there's obvious places where holds have broken. So whoever found this boulder first probably had to pry some choss off. Which, you know, I think we should judge boulders by their current state, not their previous state, but um, it just goes to show the rock quality a little. There's another scar down there. Really nice starting foothold, it would seem, which I like. It's always fun, start on a jug foot. And these holds look phenomenal. So now that I'm sitting under here and looking up, it does feel quite obvious. But I'm gonna stop talking and start climbing because we don't have much time for the sun. And I'll keep you guys updated. And I'll do some more close-ups on the holds. Probably after I do it, hopefully. Hopefully I do it. That'd be great. Megas. 
us warming up. Played around with some jugs over on this fun wall. Really nice holds. Just did the V4, which starts there and goes straight up. Did some improv beta. It turned out to be, to be quite fun. Cool sequence. Um, I did notice when I was starting, there's like this foothold's about to pop off. Not that you need it or use it, but just once again showing that, you know, this boulder, this rock quality isn't like bullet to begin with, you know? But yeah, you start here, go this jug. I like grab this pinch here, meat hook to this, grab this thing, went up to here. It was, it was a really good time. The seven I was looking at, I don't really know the sequence. It looks pretty hard to me, like almost harder than Trackman. So I'm gonna do that one next, hopefully, and we'll see. All right, here goes nothing on the seven. I gotta say, it looks quite hard. Kind of nervous, not warm enough, that's for sure. Just the beginning sequence, I can't quite decipher. I think I'm gonna do like a left, a hard left heel hook move up to this thing and then looks okay after that, but man, it looks savage. Oh my god, that was hard. I cut feet like 10 times. Oh. Jesus Christ. Yes, that was fun. Really a fight. Kind of exploited all my weaknesses or my injuries right now. Like, left pulley is really sore right this moment. Was not warm enough for that. Left heel hook it was getting me on southern draw. And my right heel hook, my hamstring, my butt. Oh, my shoulder. Okay, track man. Track man time. Okay, I got extremely flash pumped on the seven. And I've been very patient. You have a flash burn, I rested like an hour. But the sun's creeping and I'm still pumped, so I'm just gonna try it. Come on. Ah! Woo! Oh, that hurt. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Blew it. Totally blew it. Fuck. This is why I do so many boulders second go. It's because I get flash pumped warming up. And it takes so long to rest, I'm a little too cold, and I get to the easy part of the boulder, and I'm numb, and I fuck it up. Cause I'm like, numb and pumped. Every time. So many blown flashes. <sighs> Just kidding, I did it on purpose, cause it was so fun, I wanted to climb it twice. God damn it. Oh man, it's very hot. I kind of, Expected Arkansas in February to be like snowy and like frigid, but it is hot. And my skin's really soggy and bad because it's my third day on. And this hold is big, but it really hurt my pulley. So hopefully I do it this next try. If not, that was three excuses, so. Oh, 
now the sun's gonna come out by the time I'm ready to give another try. Fuck! If it gets in the sun, there's just no way. Fuck! Punter. Oh, it's fun though. Oh, fuck! Oh man, I feel like I really sabotaged myself on the V7 flash. I always do that where I, I, I don't like not flashing boulders. So even if I know I'm not warm enough and I'm going to get flash pumped, I'll like force my way through a flash instead of just warming up on the moves. And then it like ruins my whole day with this deep pump. Oh, and my finger hurts a lot. I'm actively, definitely actively making it worse every single try. Um, but I'm stubborn and I don't really want to come back here ever to the middle of like nowhere, Arkansas. Um, I want to climb more in Arkansas, but I hate going back to boulders, you know. Because that's, you know, every time, if I have to come back here next time, that's one day that I can't go somewhere else. So, that's up. Oh, thank God. Oh, that was not that good of a hold. This is the... Okay. Oh, man. God. Oh, thank God I did it. Holy shit. Three tries, but it was like three hours of a process. Definitely made my finger injury a lot worse, but that's for Salt Lake me to regret. Glad I did it. Holy shit. Good boulder. Whew. Wow. Oh man, I had to try way harder than I thought I would. I think conditions probably didn't help with that. Whew. I'll show you the holds. Pretty obvious, good start holds. You kind of like, I kind of cam my fingers in the bottom one and I cam my feet in this good crack. This holds like pretty slopey, not quite as good as you want it, but the moves are easy here. Drop me on the jug foot to go up to. This is probably coolest hold on the climb. Just like awesome mini pinch. Maybe like half pad. And you walk your right foot through to this nice little jib. This is with my beta, there's of course other ways. Heel up here, toe cam a little bit, flag under to go to this, which is probably my favorite hold. Just like one pad, really comfortable. It'd be nice to grab it this way with the thumb. That'd be cooler. I have a feeling Daniel's Traverse In doesn't do that sequence though. I'm guessing it just uses these really big feet down low and like grabs this from the side and then rolls into the same sequence, but it's possible it does, which would be really sick. Uh, Let me tack up on these. Boosh, I made a mistake the first time I I looked at other people's videos and they were like up here. For me personally, I like it back here. It's like more of a crimp, a bit shallower, a bit more in cut. You thumb. And then this holds like quite in cut for the pointer finger. I'm just flat for the rest and then jugs after that. Oh man. Top 100. I'm on the fence. Uh, I'm gonna chill out for a minute and then I'm gonna compare it to other boulders that I've done recently. Deeper than I expected from videos. Let's see, use my measure app. Any guesses? Place your bets. Wait, that's zero. 
Okay. Fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty four, somewhere in that mid to upper fifty range. Which is pretty sick. Not a lot of not a lot of walls at that angle. It's I feel like it's either roof or gently overhung. It's nice, it's like a gym prowl. <sighs> okay. So I think what I'm gonna do, because this one is contentious and like I could see it making it or not making it is I'm just going to look at the list right now in its current state which I'm trying to make like build a website with someone so ha have it like currently updated and people can like leave comments and like upvote or downvote things and have it move but um until then it's just in a google doc let's see top 100 list king air is number one I didn't get to climb on it Better than this boulder though. Ark of the Covenant, I'm going to tomorrow. Matt Marciante put that one up this season and it looks like Osiris on top of Osiris. I'm super excited. Um, my pal Jamie Emerson, who's seen a lot of boulders and discovered a lot of the best boulders in the world or in the country, um, visited it a few weeks ago and said it's one of the best boulders he's ever seen. I thought it looked like one of the best boulders ever. So he's gonna take me there tomorrow. Can't, can't wait. That's potentially top 10 boulder. Um, Crown Jewel I haven't been to, Osiris, hmm. I would say the rock on Osiris is better than this. Um, for me, I think Osiris is like a more stunning line. There's some beautiful colors. The shapes of the holds and everything and the bulbous elements are more striking to me. But of course this is uh, going into subjective territory. Osiris has the left easier exit exit. This one doesn't have an easier exit, but it does have a harder and easier entrance. So two, two extra lines versus one extra line, but um, probably pretty even on that note. Both pretty good height. I think Osiris is a little taller, which is a little preferable for me, but this is not by any means a bad height. Probably pretty comparable landings. Osiris's landing is more flat, but it's like muddy swamp. And this is like nice gravel, um, just like a little bit of a hill. The start is slightly more obvious on, on a Osiris, I would say. Okay, Dose of Thunder haven't been. Shackleton. Shackleton's better, I think. Um, very pure line, very tall. Maybe it's better than Osiris. I love that boulder. It is like desert sandstone rock though. So there's always potential for something like that to break, but the rock quality I thought was very good to my recollection. Um, Black Dahlia, more singular. Um, Black Dahlia has, I have some footage of it that I should make a video of, but there's like a really nice jug like here, but it actually starts on these underclings that are kind of obscured. And so maybe similar points in terms of that, similar landings. Ah, this boulder is pretty fucking good. Let's look further down on the list at some of the like the iffy ones. Trackman right now is sitting at number 85. It's sandwiched between Synonym in Idaho, which I think is definitely better, and Promised Land, which is the thing I put up in Zion, which might also be better, probably better. Dream Snatcher, that's like another one that I'm like not sure about in Yosemite. I should make a video of that too. Um, Dream Snatcher, I think, is like a more stunning boulder, bigger, prouder line. It does have a harder ed entrance, similar to this, so but not an easier entrance. Um, so I guess Dream Snatcher wins a little bit on that, but the landing's a lot worse. It's got this big rock in the landing, it's kind of annoying. And the rock is pretty good. There's a few holds that are like a little bit bitey and uncomfortable in Dream Snatcher maybe, so I think this one, I think they're pretty comparable. I think this one maybe beats it out though. You know what? Yeah, I think it, I, originally, and while I was projecting it, I was like, no, this isn't top 100, but I think it is for now. I think I'm gonna put it on the list. I don't think it's that, you know, I think it's probably the bottom 20 somewhere, but it's a good boulder. I think, I think I'll put it in my top 100 for now, and uh, we'll reevaluate as I climb more boulders. So I'm gonna try and go to Candy Mountain now. If it's in the sun, I don't know if I'm even gonna climb, it's fucking hot, but 
Hope it's in the shade. If not, I'll see some boulders, I guess. Some other contenders over there. Sweet. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about the setting. The setting is like neutral. Like, it's not bad. It's not like in a heavily populated noisy area or by a road. Um, it's beautiful, but like in an understated way. I mean, it's just a forest. There's like a lot of sticker bushes around, which is not that most, not the most pleasant thing. And there's some cool cliffs up there, which is pretty, but yeah, it's not gorgeous. It's not ugly. It's just kind of neutral on setting for me. Now imagine this on top of the cliff line. That would be fucking sick. Also, I just realized in its current state, this is my 25th send of the list. So one quarter of the way down. Pretty good, you know? Um, quite happy with that. I've got, I'm 22. I've got probably 20 more years of climbing. So hopefully I can get close to doing them all. Maybe not box therapy, but some of the others. Outer limits, fortunately, unfortunately broke. So it's one less V15 I have to do, but I really wanted to try that one. I actually, I trained for like two or three months uh, with the intention of going on a trip to do that one and hopefully make it my first V15. It looked like my style and I was like really excited to try. And then, yeah, like one week before my trip, the hold snapped and I was like pretty devastated, but also kind of relieved because it meant like I didn't have to, you know, I had all that buildup of training and, and thinking about and visualizing. And, and so I was kind of relieved that like I didn't have to try and potentially face failure and all the, all the effort that goes along with projecting. But overall, I was pretty devastated. And uh, that's why I decided to go to Chattanooga to try Southern Draw, because that one's also V15, also like squeezy big holds. I found that I, I really like climbing that the reason you're falling is not because like your fingers aren't strong enough or your hands are giving out or your forearms are pumped. Like I like falling because my core is too, too tired or um, I can't squeeze hard enough or like I make a tactical error. When it just comes down to fingers, it's just like, kind of boring for me. I'm a lot heavier than a lot of climbers, so my skin just like gives out really quickly and and I'm just like not that good at fingery climbing, so it's not fun. But um, yeah, I'm glad I committed to Southern Draw and, and put like 10 or 11 days in and definitely could have done it, but I'm excited to have something to train for and go back to. I kind of like that there's like this vlog thing now like everyone's fucking vlogging and, and I'm kind of into it Like it's pretty fun to get these little glimpses into people's lives You feel like a fucking asshole when you're the one vlogging like if there was someone else here I would not be doing this and I would feel like a fucking dick, but um, It's kind of like when I started climbing all the pro climbers had blogs and That was like the thing like oh dude Did you see Paul Robinson's new blog post and, and shit like that and then they totally died with Instagram and now vlogs are coming back and I'm here for it. I think it's sick. Um, I think I've noticed a lot of other people doing the trend of showing the climbing holds, which I'm all for. I think that's great. And uh, yeah, I, I like just kind of seeing how people approach their sessions and their trips and hearing, hearing them talk. All right, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. It's really hot. Boosh, fuck yes, track man. One less boulder to do. Every time you do a boulder, you have one less boulder to do. I love that. Oh, I don't have to come back. So sick. I'm definitely not gonna do this traverse into it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Made it to Candy Mountain, and it's sick. The hike was a lot shittier. Um, just like, it's gonna be really hard to get out of here with the weight I brought in, but um, it's a sport crag. Some really cool looking routes. And then my buddy Matt DeSantis put up a climb called Sweet Tooth up there that looks all right. Um, not the coolest thing in the world. Uh, it's like V9 or 10. But then I don't know why he didn't come down to this boulder, which is fucking awesome. Um, this got put up. Um, it's called Burden of Seams. There's some really little holds like this one. Um, you like grab this and then you go to this mono. Everything's quite dirty right now, so I need to clean. Do that mono, bust to these two pockets, which are awesome. Grab the left one like an undercling. Hit this sloper up here and then throw to the lip. So like that looks fucking cool, extremely technical. Like really bad seam feet. Kind of reminds me of Diabase. 
in Pennsylvania. And then this is the one I'm most psyched about. Uh, I think it's dry, definitely needs a cleaning. It's called, um, ah shit, what the fuck's it called? Fat Boy Ret. So you like start on a really nice jug, sloper, sloper, dyno to this hole, and then do something cool up there. This one is, I don't know if it's been done, but like fucking awesome. Awesome looking V4, tall, kind of scary. Um, and then there's like this slab dyno V3 where you like start in these pockets and dyno to this jug. I think I'll start on that one. Um, this is listed as a project. I don't know if it's been done. It doesn't look crazy hard. But yeah, super sick wall. I wish I had more time, energy, daylight. I would try and climb like all of these, including some that might have not been climbed yet, but we'll see what I can do. I'll start with this one, maybe do this V4 if I'm feeling good, and then um, clean up the nine and give it a go. Oh. This looks really awesome and scary. Hopefully the top is clean. I'm sure it won't be. Don't feel motivated enough to check it out. Might regret that. We'll see. I'm also not convinced I'm going to have to dyno, but I kind of want to. Little a whirl. Ooh, very dirty. See why they would jump. Wow, very committing. I can salvage my flash if I just don't leave the ground or don't leave the rock. There's a pedestal. Okay. Still on the rock. Gotta reach the chalk bucket to clean these grips. Flash alive. Okay, let's try this again. Wow, I find myself just completely terrified. So I think that hole's gonna be dirty and you definitely like have to leave these feet. It's so sick. Can't decide like which hand to go with. Anything. Holy fuck is only. Dirty, dirty. Sick knob. Okay. Don't fuck it up. Oh. Okay, yeah, that was kind of dumb. Whew. I'm in sticker bushes. Okay. So good. Oh my god. All right. That was a fucking good time. What a classic boulder. That is so sick.
Wow. I love that climb. So good. If you're just stanced up, you gotta commit. Love it. Top was harder than I thought it would be. Just really dirty mostly. Um, also apparently it's V6 if you traverse into the V4 over here, into that left facing flake. The V4 does look good, but I think I'm gonna skip it for now because I'm running out of time, daylight. I wanna get to the main objectives, maybe I'll do it after. Yeah, and it's extremely dirty up there. Um, pretty terrifying too, there's just like tons and tons of thorns and it's not clean at all. And I thought I was gonna fall off, but I did my best to clean it up a little bit. Now I will try in the dying light. Fortunately, I brought my lights with me. Kind of anticipated I'd be out here for a while. Let's see if we can get her done. Sexy boulder, wow. The sequence looks awesome too. It's like a big jump move. Dino. feels like shit. It's so technical. You've really got to wrap around the corner to match. It sags super low. Fuck, dude. Wow. Whew. Super hard. Maybe it's just the condition, but I would fucking upgrade this in a heartbeat. Dude, I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll try just keeping the heel. It'll make it a lot harder to jump, but I think I'll keep my hips closer and further under the sloper, at least. I hate to blame conditions, but I think it's just conditions. Oh, ow, I drive fire so hard. Oh. 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 It's so slippery. It's sliding. Oh. It's kind of close. Not that close, though. Probably quit. It's very late. I'm very hungry and tired. But I don't want to quit. I want to get colder. Wah, wah, wah. Fuck. Holy crap. Holy crap is only. Okay, one more and then I'm done. This. Whew, it's way too fucking late for this. Alright, last try for reels. Oh, okay, I'm done. God, what a tremendous time suck. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Damn it, dude. Hate climbing in the heat. I'm fully gonna blame conditions. It might be an excuse, but I think that's what I'm gonna use. Holy fuck. I am okay with coming back because. This fucking tech face looks awesome. The guy in the FA video started it um, kind of high though, like, wow, these holes are microscopic. Where is the, oh yeah, he started left hand here, right hand here, in this little like mono, but, which like I get, but there's this jug, like, 
I'm sure it adds two gnarly unpleasant moves. There's like a huge foot, huge jug, quite a few holds to get into it. So I feel like that's where I want to try and climb it from, probably. Holy shit, wow. Great, great boulder. Oh, both of them. Wish I could have done it, fuck. All right, last try, Hail Mary. Let's see, show me what you got. Fuck me. Really would have liked to have climbed these. Oh well. Can't win them all. Big day tomorrow. Gonna be so tired. Fourth day on. Shit skin. I guess it doesn't look that bad in the camera, but very raw. Pink sweaties. 